Hello everyone. Uh, we are on our way back home, even later than expected, so it is going to be basically dark. Uh, you can see a little bit of light left in the sky. So we're going to see first off if we can make this right here. It looks like there's not a car coming. Yep, so we're good to go. Again, uh, watching for side traffic, uh, cross traffic is significantly better on uh, actually even 9.1 is better than 9.0 so that's definitely an improvement and a much needed one at that that was definitely a cause for many interventions uh, or disengagements rather and if you could see uh, that car passed in front and it uh, definitely braked it, di it didn't need the brake at all uh, for that car right there so uh, that is a negative thing of 9.1 so far. 9.0 actually did that pretty well. Uh, a car would pass in front and wouldn't break at all, which is what you would want at that distance. So it still tries to stop at that stop sign. Been trying to get that fixed literally since traffic control and stop sign uh, uh, came out to where it would stop at stop signs and traffic lights. Um, I'm gonna slow this down, see how well this does. This is always really sketchy. Okay, it definitely didn't have to slam the brake so hard there, but um, it. it did it well otherwise it definitely um wasn't going to turn its blinker on and so that blinker was on its own which is good actually i normally do want to be in the left lane here So what I'm looking for here, look, it says 20 mile an hour. And it's gonna jump up to the yep, 35. And it's gonna go back down to 20. <laughs> and I think once more it jumps back up on this road. This is a problem I'm looking for to be fixed for quite a while. This only has ever happened on the beta. Never before, on, um, I would always use autopilot through this area. And never before I did it ever get the speed limit wrong. It was only on the beta that I ever got the speed limit wrong. Perhaps if I'm thinking of a second area, perhaps that one got fixed though. Um, but that one back there always has happened. What we'll find out right here. That was a very good lane change. Much better than previous versions. We're going to see though how it turns right here and it is this version is stops too far back oh that was a disengagement um see it goes up to 35 and it's not going to read the sign right here it just blows past that sign so i'm gonna i don't have it normally press the camera button there i just remembered to do it this time um yeah so two things it's or three things. It stopped too far back at that stoplight. It tried to. It started turning right, a wide turn into the car next to me. So I wasn't going to let it get that close. And probably, most likely, wasn't going to hit that car. I wasn't going to take any chances. Uh, and then, of course, it's not still not seeing that speed limit sign. It has, for whatever reason, seen it once. And so, okay. And um, so yeah, I'm not sure what's. Uh, why they can't see that sign for some reason uh, we can easily see it so i'm not sure why the car is not seeing it nope 
we do not want to get in the right lane because that is a right only turn lane on the right there. Nope. Well, it says just straight arrows right here. You can only turn right if you stay in this lane. And it goes straight into the mall. So, confirmed after a couple times getting on the highway with this version, I definitely merged over uh, onto that lane much better than previous versions. It, it gets on, it get, merges over at the appropriate time. Uh, however, as you notice, the blinker turned on when I was already in the lane. So the blinker is still not, uh, not good enough. And we're gonna see... The blinker and lane change still far too late. And it doubled the lane changes here. It shouldn't do that right getting on the highway. I'm not, this truck was obviously gaining, gaining on me. And then it tried to get back over. It's good. That's what I wanted to do is to go ahead. It's not getting back over. Okay. I'm gonna, okay. The wheel confirmation just doesn't work well for me. I'm like, I'm moving the wheel. Like, you can see me jiggling the wheel back and forth, um, but it just doesn't, I don't know if my hand's too light or something, it never detects my hand properly uh, on the wheel, and it's, it's just easier to use the stock, so I'm probably just going to use the stock to get it to turn uh, the, for confirmation, but yeah, I probably won't have much to say until we're off the highway. too often and the car is getting off the highway and it starts changing lanes and it doesn't need to. slowed down to the speed limit before we got off the exit and it's already slowing down much better instead of this. If it wouldn't pop back up to 70 again, it would be great. But otherwise, this, this is doing very well. We're going to see how it does at the very end down here since it can't really see the exit. It's trying to go left, which is what we want. Yeah, see, it didn't even try to... I tried once to to flip the little tentacle, if you will, to the right. Okay, so it's good to go from both directions. There is no cross driving. It must be seeing this truck right here. I'm gonna kind of gonna do it, do its thing. I'm gonna tap the accelerator. Now, I think those two beeps were because I was looking for traffic. I wasn't looking forward. So the camera up here was tracking my face. Um, maybe. That's, that's Usually those two beeps are for uh, uh, the cabin camera looking for driver attentiveness. Okay, otherwise, that's the end of this drive, everyone. Um, obviously, a little bit different uh, scenario with it being dark. I guess I didn't count, but I believe it was a one disengagement drive. Yeah, I want to say it was one, a one disengaged drive. Um, I will obviously correct that. That's not the case. But uh, as always, I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, if you have any particular requests or concerns or comments, please leave them down below. And I'll answer you there. Thanks, guys. Bye.